Hello YouTube, I'm Ruman Karim here to do do a review. This movie is The Avengers. God, what can I say about The Avengers? I'm serious, what can I say? I'm mean, seriously, all the critics around the world have said it for me. I mean, it was great, it was awesome, the actors did really well, and the storyline was just great. I mean, The Avengers was just an awesome action movie that you will definitely enjoy if you're a fan of Marvel and you read the comics, you know? If you're like a huge, you know, fr like... Let's say fan of Marvel Comics, then definitely this movie is for you. And the movie basically is about a group of heroes coming together to fight Thor's half-brother, or brother, Loki, who wants to take over the world with this cube and a staff. So, basically, let me first say, the character development in the movie was great, because there was no need for character development. I mean, it's basically like a chain. There are small movies that eventually led up to the Avengers. For example, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Captain America, Thor, and then the Avengers. Now, also, let's not forget the Incredible Hulk that was remade two times, one in 2005 and one in 2008, which was also part of the chain. So basically, I believe it was between Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Hulk was there. So, definitely, that was, the character development has already been de developed, so if you watch all those movies, then you're basically set for the Avengers. You know everything. And, basically, it's when, it, like I said, it's about a cube, a powerful cube that Loki uses to open a portal and get people, get his, get an army from Asgard to destroy and um, basically take over Earth. And Nick Fury, who was played by Samuel L. Jackson, basically just gets... All the superheroes together to avenge the earth and basically the the plot is awesome because you know you really enjoy it and the film also focuses on how they coexist coexist at a, as a team but also has different you know different plot story now. for example for captain america he has just woken up from a 70 year deep sleep 70 years of being frozen seven decades and he's just basically trying to fit himself into the modern world because he has missed so much you know, over 70 years and then you got Hulk who has been controlling his anger really well who was played by Mark Ruffalo by the way and let me just say he did awesome he was one of my favorite characters in the movie definitely the way he portrayed Bruce Banner I think he surpassed his other the other guys who played Bruce Banner in the past but that's my opinion I'm not sure about you guys you can let me know but so and basically Bruce Banner he's trying to control himself and not be angry all the time which he does a really good job of it and you have Iron Man who's basically a billionaire who's tr who's trying to coexist coexist in a team and then you have Thor who's basically a demigod who's trying to make amends with his brother but he's not listening so he has to fight him before he takes over the world and then you have Hawkeye and um, Black Widow Black Widow who who has just joined recently and he oh she owes a favor to Hawkeye after he decided not to kill him kill her and Hawkeye basically is just you know he he was possessed by look I don't want to say much but he was possessed but eventually he just becomes good and fights and basically it, it, there's a lot of action and there is a lot of explosions definitely towards the end boom boom you know and definitely it's very comedic first of all a lot of action and I love how the movie, who's, which is kind of serious with the superhero film, blends in some comedy, like Harry Potter, Deathly House Part 2, and uh, King Kong, you know, all those serious films. Because they have a little space for comedy, which uh, really is my favorite thing. And uh, apart from that, the characters were well played. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, uh, Chris Evans as uh, Captain Ro Captain America, Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, no, Bruce Banner, yeah, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Jeremy Runner as Hawkeye, and Samuel Jackson as, um, you know, Nick Fury. And in my opinion, all characters played their character really well, and it was just great. I mean, if I had to rate this film, I would totally give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up, basically. And, yeah, that's it. The, this is my review of The Avengers. It's not that big, full, you know, just a short little a short little um, review. But, you know, in this sh short review, I have said a lot that I believe describes The Avengers. So, leave your comments, leave a like. Um, tell me, let me know your opinions. Did you actually enjoy it? 
And um, if you didn't watch it yet, please do watch it. Watch The Avengers. It's a must-see film in, in 2012. So um, definitely, it's a great, great, great film. So I'm Ruman Karim, and this was my review for The Avengers. All right, thanks, guys.